Even as the runaway NPAs and defaults needed urgent attention, the new government also chose to make financial inclusion a big focus area. Saloni, this is one area where considerable work still remains to be done, isn't it? Uh, we make clearly 100 days over. It's a mixed bag as far as the banking sector is concerned. Let me begin uh, by the PSU Bank recapitalization. Remember, this was a breath of fresh air uh, for PSU Bank, struggling to meet the Basel III requirements. Uh, the finance uh, minister announced in his budget speech that they will look at diluting the government's stake to 51% by issuing extra shares to PSU Bank. So what has happened so far? Uh, there has been no timeline set on when these banks will start raising the money under this model. Uh, there is a draft proposal in consideration which has floated uh, in the finance ministry so far, uh, but there is no concrete roadmap as to when this will actually uh, be a reality. As far as merging of PSU banks is concerned, remember consolidation was on the cards. There is a draft proposal uh, that has been floated in the finance ministry again right now, uh, which talks about uh, merging about six uh, large PSU banks to smaller PSU banks. So this again is on a draft uh, mode right now, though initial or preliminary consultations uh, with the PSU banks have been happening. As far as inflation targeting is concerned, this was again, uh, that was something announced in uh, Finance Minister's budget speech where he said that the framework will be set in consultation with RBI uh, on targeting inflation uh, because remember the sovereign has the right to set the inflation target but again uh, at a very preliminary stage uh, in discussion with RBI. Uh, this gains huge importance, banking system governance, uh, uh, whether or not they're looking uh, to implement the pg and panel and the FSLRC recommendations. Uh, there has been no plan uh, on whether or not they're adopting uh, these governance uh, norms or not, though there is a holding company structure that is in consideration. That is what the Department of Financial S Services Secretary has highlighted as well. Why this gains importance? Remember, there has been a spare of issues at PSU banks, four forensic audits ordered only uh, in the span of last uh, two months. Now, there is a draft proposal, like I mentioned earlier, on the holding company structure that is also part of the pg uh, panel report, while the RBI governor and the FSLRC recommendation has expect, uh, uh, exp uh, expressed his displeasure by saying that it almost seems uh, schizophrenic. Uh, as far as willful defaulters are concerned, uh, step in the right direction. They're looking at a willful default legislation that has been uh, proposed. Uh, also changes to both the Sarfasi and the DRT Act to give uh, uh, power to banks to displace the management has also been proposed. So uh, this uh, bill will be taken up uh, in the winter session as indicated by the finance uh, ministry earlier. Financial inclusion, big bank financial financial inclusion uh, plan. So remember, it was launched just on 28th of August formally. Uh, only in the launch uh, in the first three, four days, it's uh, opened account uh, uh, about two crore uh, bank accounts so already. But the only fear remains that since there is a one lakh insurance cover with this, uh, there might be some issue with duplication or uh, of accounts. But all in all, a mixed bag for the banking sector.